Hi guys, uh, this is a more um, personal video um, about my life. Um, most of you don't know that I have uh, made big changes in my life a couple of years ago. Um, I, I was uh, not uh, happy and um, and my life wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. Uh, I, I realized that when I turned 30 that, well, I was, I had moved in back with my father, uh, was living on his attic and um, I didn't have a girlfriend. I also had quit jobs and had tried to start some companies but didn't work out. And, and um, when I turned 30, I re suddenly realized like how how is it possible I'm 30 now I would have never imagined that I would be in this situation 10 years ago um, living uh, on the attic uh, of my father have no girlfriend uh, no girl that I love uh, have no job or no company um, yeah um, and I realized that I wasn't happy uh, for some reason I succeeded in, in in constantly like believing that things would go well before and I wasn't really conscious about that but I, I became conscious of that and and I realized something really needed to change and I discovered uh, Stefan Molyneux his work and he was saying that uh, you know um, yeah, it's important to have supportive people in your life and 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 the people around you aren't always like that um, friends and family um, may be actually destructive uh, may be not constructive maybe not supportive may put you down often or um, uh, just not treat you well and that will influence your life and uh, your amount of self-confidence that you have and just the way you treat others what he made me realize is just that certain things are abusive you don't do certain things I know for me to only realize at age 30 it's very late but that's how it was and and that certain actions are really not shouldn't are, are not shouldn't be part of a loving relationship and indeed you can expect a uh, your relatives close relatives family or friends it should be a loving relationship not a, a an abusive relationship if you have that then you won't be happy and the risk is you will be an abuser yourself too and um yeah that was quite some uh, discovery um and he advised to listen to your feelings uh, after an interaction to know whether uh, an interaction is good for you or not good for you and I started doing that and uh, I realized that a lot of my interaction with my was just not good um, and so I started to lower these interactions and, 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 and fade out of these relationships and um, and that was really a very good I also started to uh, do uh, therapy and um, I, uh, I followed years of therapy, cost a lot of money, but it was worth it. Um, and that's how I got uh, a lot happier uh, and I um, and, uh, have much less people in my life today, but the people that are in my life are really amazing. Um, and I found a great girlfriend that I really love and, and she really loves me. And, uh, and that's just, I could have not actually I always wanted that in my life but having realized that is really very beautiful and I hope everyone can uh, achieve that um, but yeah the way to get there is really to you have to do a lot I had to do a lot um, I think it's very important to realize that family is not sacred family is not sacred uh, people say yeah but uh, uh, when you complain about this or that about some family member people will say yeah okay but it's family eh? yeah but that logic leads to accepting a lot of shit that you would normally never accept uh, from people but you do accept it from them because 
you're born into it but if you do that you will also stay into it and I think the, the if you receive ch shit from others you don't have much uh, options uh, either you give the shit back which is a good idea but then you end up fighting or abusing someone back eh? that's not a good idea but even if you just set boundaries you will have to probably they won't do that uh, when you ask it nicely you will probably have to fight also eh? so well either you 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 block the shit eh? um, but that will already lead to conflict because they are used that they can dump shit on you eh? like before but you will have to start blocking it um, and when they for example talk down on you you either take it in and and and, and you basically um, become depressed uh, or uh, your confidence goes down hey when you absorb the shit um, or you pass the shit through to someone else that's often how it goes eh? uh, a stronger person will dump shit on someone and that that person will dump the shit on someone who is weaker than him you see that on the schoolyard often eh? someone who gets bullied well then he will also bully Mostly a kid that get bullied at home by his parents will then bully a, a child on, in the school uh, that is weaker than him or eh, uh, abuse animals that are weaker than him so you, you can pass the shit through but then you're an abuser too um, so it's very important that you don't accept shitty treatment uh, it's not good for you it really destroys your life and so if that means that you can't see these people anymore because they are not willing to stop that then 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 that that's what you have to do that's very important and that really has helped me a lot mm. so yeah we're at the Schelde here look it's totally desolate here it's a piece it's nice actually but it, jo it also goes to show the total misman mismanagement of, uh, of governance, uh, govern governments, you know. Anyway, I hope uh, that helps uh, someone uh, because I think that's very important to start listening to your feelings. And, uh, and 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 to become assertive and then um, you, for example smoking weed I realized that I just really needed that to feel happier in the short term but of course in the long term drugs uh, if you use a lot uh, that doesn't help um, you do feel happier when you take the drugs but the moment the drugs is gone you feel even worse than before so 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 I understand people need it and I needed it and it has helped me a lot but but of course it was still there I need a lot more than that uh, I need really therapy and going back to my childhood and how I was treated and uh, how I have also mistreated others and um, and uh, uh, yeah I need to do a lot of processing and and and, and to become a healthier person in my mind so yeah if you have questions uh, please uh, post them below the video i hope uh, you guys have a great day bye